Hey everyone, this is Shag, and this is what I like to call my backup Let's Play. Today, as of now, as of this recording time, it is June 28th, 2009. Tomorrow, on June 29th, or in approximately 10 hours, I'll be having my wisdom teeth removed. Naturally, in the aftermath of such a surgery, I probably won't feel like doing much in the way of Let's Play, so I decided that I would record a different game in, in its entirety, because it's pretty short, and then I would split it up into videos and upload it in, on YouTube as I recover from wisdom teeth surgery. So if you're seeing this, it either means that I actually didn't feel like doing anything after having my wisdom teeth removed, or this is in the future and something else came up and I couldn't do anything but this, or after there were no problems for a significant period of time, I remembered that I'd done this and decided to upload it anyway. So what this is going to be is... Kirby's Dreamland, the original and the first Kirby entry in the series. Now this is on the original Game Boy, so it doesn't naturally have colors, so I'll do my best to work with the emulator and find colors appropriate for the situation. Well, in this case, Kirby is pink and other things are green. Why are they green? Well, because the first stage is green greens. With that much green, I could only add more. So, green greens as a stage has been reused in several Kirby entries, mostly as a blast to the past of sorts. Notably, in... Kirby Superstar, they remade this game in its entirety, well almost, in the form of Spring Breeze. And they did it again in Kirby Superstar Ultra. In that, they included a mode called Revenge of the King, which included some of the stuff that they missed from this, like the giant airship thing, which I think is called Kabula. I don't know. I haven't actually played this original game. In! Well, thank you for letting us know that we can go through doors. Speaking of the original game, which we are playing right now, this is before they added copy abilities, so I suppose it is before Kirby took Dreamland Health class and learned what a digestive system is. Or maybe this was during Kirby's bulimic period where he was afraid to swallow anything, and instead spit it all back out. But in any case, this means that our only weapon is the suck and spit. We don't even get a slide. Also Kirby has a silly walking animation when he's got something in his mouth. Fly, Kirby, for freedom, or to cover a small distance. Why, hello there, Poppy Bros. Since we do not have a power, I have to defeat you in the old-fashioned way, which is in fact the new-fashioned way in this time period. Not even any dodging. Well, not any sliding to help us dodge. Oh, you have exploded. How unfortunate. Hmm. Some of the enemies seem easier to defeat in this one than they are in later entries. Like the- like I don't think you could eat those in Kirby Superstar. And the cappies, you couldn't eat the whole thing. You could only eat the cap or the mushroom guy underneath in later ones. Oh, I took damage. That's not a good thing. I don't think those guys rode on the pandas either. Ah, oh, there we go. There's what I was expecting. Ah, die, panda. There's a cappy without his hat. I wonder where it has gone. What hat? Who knows? In this one, you can fly infinitely, unlike some later entries like Kirby 64. It's not really a major problem. I don't know why they made it limited in Kirby 64. Adding challenge, maybe? Well, there's no really a need for that. If what I just did is any indication, swallowing two enemies doesn't make much of a difference either. In other games, it of course makes it more powerful. There's nothing over there. Kirby kind of walks in time to the music. Yeah, nothing over here either. In Kirby 64, I mean Kirby Superstar, one of those passageways led to a maximum tomato, if I believe, if I remember correctly. Oh no, it's Wispy Woods time. Look, I saved state, even though it's completely unnecessary. Ah, this boss theme wasn't reused. 
And oh, look at that. Through the magic of colors, we reveal that only Wispy's eyes and mouth are actually sprites, while the rest is a background. Though, it's really not that much of a surprise. Ah, oh, you can duck. That's slightly helpful. Whoa! No! Apple in my face. That's not a good- Oh! Careful. Gotta be careful. Whoa. I told you to spit that, Kirby. How dare you disobey my button-mashing commands. Ah, Wispy. Defeated at last. Dance! Yeah! Do 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 do. Hey! Welcome to Castle Lo Lo Lo! Home of Lo 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 and La La La. Ah, this music. Haven't heard that in a while! Hey, hey! Rogue cleaning is not appreciated. And now a new color scheme to fit the new level. I don't know, it struck me as a sort of orangey place. So let's find out what's inside. What's this? Aha! The mic power-up started in this one indeed. I did not know that. It's not so much of a... Well, since they don't have copy abilities yet, I suppose it's just a regular power-up. Bats and ghosts! And multiple paths to explore. Hey, Kirby, go in the door. Oh, I guess you cannot go back. We have missed something, perhaps. I'm not sure. Oh, well, an unfortunate mistake. I'm not sure what to think of any of this already. That's a weird face, and that's another weird face coming out of a Mario-esque question mark block. Oh, no! It's Fanto! You're in the wrong game, Fanto. Oh, alas, there's nothing inside this block. Hmm, most perplexing. Come on, Fanto. Try your luck. You won't be so lucky this time. Your luck sucks. But Kirby sucks better. An underwater segment. In the middle of a castle. Aren't moats supposed to be outside? I see Kirby cannot even blow bubbles in the first game. Intriguing. Kirby has not yet mastered the use of his reverse breath weapon. He can't even spit things regular in the water, so I guess we have to be careful. He can't even swim. He merely sort of floats along strangely. Aha! Invincibility candy! Yes! The invincibility music. Ah, I guess we're supposed to go up. Bam! One thing about the Kirby games with invincibility is, well, I don't think they reward you for taking out tons of enemies with it. Unlike Mario games, where you would get one-ups and such. There is a score meter, though. I wonder if that affects anything at all. I'm gonna guess not. Why, look, it's... one of them. Ha! Ah, the arena is much different in Kirby Superstar, where they can emerge from either side of the screen, and often they both appear at once. And sometimes, sometimes they appear with the Gordos. Actually, that appeared to be only one of them, and the level is not over yet. What awaits Kirby further on in this mysterious castle? Bats and cleaning personnel who can't do their job, apparently. Aha! Oh. Taking a hit just to get a tasty protein drink. Luckily, they restore more than one health. So it would seem. Hey, creepy mask. You will creep no more. Careful of the Gordos. This door looks like a side quest of some sort. Oh, merely a broom. Alas. And here is what I presume to be the main path. A lot of these enemies don't show up in later Kirby games. Aha, here's the boss. Save state for insurance. This is what I was expecting. This is the classic form of the boss. Oh. Can't avoid that. I think La 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 is the one with the bow. 
while well, lo 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 is the one sentence woe. Oh god, Kirby, move out of the way! The best tactic seems to be careful backstabbing. Oh, well, or accidental face stabbing. Works just as well, it seems. Oh god. Phew, that was a close one. There was no Gordo threat in that fight. Dance, Kirby! You have achieved victory over the tyrants of Lolo la la la.